This might become your most used tool in 2025. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Welcome to my first video of the year. And already I want to show you something that might become crucial for you this year. And this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Let's get started. So as you might know, I'm super active on Twitter where I show you all of my AI findings and experiments. This is one of them with the Hailu video AI creator. I probably butchered that name. But anyways, this post went kind of viral with 62,000 views. But on the other hand, here we have another post, similar text, similar setup with a kind of like similar video. And this got not even 300 views. And I wanted to figure out why is that? Why does some content work and other content does not work? And this brings me to the point that information and, un and understanding how things work is becoming super important in 2025. We need AI to help us with that. Now, this is about Gemini and don't turn off right yet because they added a feature that is absolutely amazing. It's called Deep Research. And today I want to show you how it works, what it does and why this is probably going to be super efficient for you. So first of all, here on the top left, you can select one 0.5 Pro with deep research. And what this does is it does a live search on the internet and writes a report for you based on multiple complex steps to create the solution for you. And if you ask yourself, hey, what does this cost? Do I have to pay anything for that? You are in luck because right now with Google One, you can actually use it one month for free. After that, it's 20 bucks to use use it. But I want to point out here that you not only get access to Gemini Advanced, you also get two terabytes of a storage on Google Drive. And also Gemini is integrated into Gmail and into the Google Docs. So basically, you only pay $10 for it and then $10 for the two gigabytes, which I think is the best deal right now for very advanced AI language models. So that is pretty amazing. And like I said, you can test it for a month for free. But let's check out how this works and why this is so impressive. So the way you get started here is by, of course, entering a question here. Now, the interesting thing, and I think this is unique to all the language models out there, is that it will propose a plan of multiple steps to you. So in this case, I wanted to know how can I serve the Twitter algorithm better to create more viral posts. And here it's suggests to me a six step plan on doing the research, not for me to do stuff, for Gemini to do stuff. So I can read through that and I can edit these steps before they are happening. For example, other tools like Perplexity also do complex searches, but they just execute them without you asking if the steps they are doing are actually right. So here you're getting asked beforehand and then it's executing it for you. And it also takes a little bit of time because often it goes through a ton of different websites to gather all these resources for you. Now, after this has happened, you're getting a full report from Gemini that has multiple pages. You can see here the result and all of these different areas they actually have here the source where it's coming from. So nothing is just coming out of the air. You can actually compare it to the sources to make sure that the information is actually correct you're getting. And as you can see, it's a pretty in-depth report. And then down here, also the research websites. Now, one of the best features I find here is when you look here on the top right, you see open in docs, which means that this report will be created as a Google Doc so that you can store it and build a knowledge archive over time. And this is what that looks like. It's a complete document that you can edit. And here you have all of the text in there. You have also these little numbers in here. And these numbers, of course, reference links at the end of the text. So this is really a full report written for you with all of the sources. 
Now let's have a quick look at what it is writing in the report. We have a little bit of an intro here, which is nice. And then first of all, we have an understanding of the Twitter algorithm. How does it work? How does it source the different tweets, select them and then suggest them to the different viewers? So this is explained here. And then it gives to us the information about the real graph, which is the algorithm that Twitter is using to figure out what kind of tweets to suggest to you. And here are the most prominent functions of that real graph on how it filters the content, which gives you a deep insight into how you need to prepare your posts to get selected and shown to more people. Pretty amazing. Then below that, we have here the key factors out of these results. For example, you have to be relevant. The recency is important on Twitter because it's very time based. Engagement with your community, account credibility is important. Diversity of the content you're posting, different formats like audio, video, images, polls, text, things like that. That is pretty cool. Below that, it goes into crafting content. How do you do good content that's interesting for your audience? Here's a list with different suggestions and these suggestions are all explained to you. Before that are after that, we also have here tips and tricks on how to go viral. For example, tapping into trending topics, sparking emotions, offer value, be concise and attention grabbing, run contests and giveaways. I would not really suggest doing that, but it can work as you can see with Mr. Beast. So what do I know? He knows more than me, right? And then below that, we also have the types of content that go viral based on the research that Gemini has been doing for us. Now, of course, this is not all because you can also ask follow up questions here on the left side. Or as I did in my case, I wanted to know specifically about these two tweets. Why did one tweet get so many views and the other not so many views? So here it actually analyzes that you can see here tweet one it gives me some feedback the first tweet is strong in visual appeal it has an intriguing concept the element of surprises in there and also an emotional connection while the second tweet is less visually striking it has a lack of context and it has a weaker emotional connection which when we look at the videos again is actually true because here we have this beautiful fairy in the forest. Everything looks cool. She smiles. She interacts. Everything here is very engaging, but also the text up here is very concise to the point evoking emotions. And as you can see, as a result, we got 35 comments and 21 shares, which also lets us to give it a lot more views. While on the second tweet, you can see here, it is an interesting video, but it is less visually appealing. The colors are muted, not so interesting. There's less movement in there overall. And when you look at the text I'm using here in the tweet, it's also a little bit confusing, not very concise, not very inspiring for emotion or engagement. And because of that, we got exactly zero comments, zero shares, and only four likes. And of course, because of that, you get basically no views. So while that example was pretty specific to my case, I think you can come up with a lot of different ideas on how to use that for your research on any kind of thing you want to improve in your life or learn about. Let me know what you think in the comments about that. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.